Passover on that Thursday morning, he asked us to prepare the, the meal, and so we prepared the bread, the unleavened bread that reminded us of the time that the Jews had to flee Egypt so quickly they didn't have time for the bread to rise. And then that afternoon, I took the lamb that we had purchased for the feast to the temple to be sacrificed. I stood there in the crowded courtyard holding the little creature in my arms, waiting my turn, and finally the priest came by and with his ceremonial knife quickly dispatched the little creature by slitting his throat and catching the blood in a basin and then pouring that basin on the stone altar. And I watched that blood trickle down across the altar and to the floor. And I thought of the countless thousands of lambs whose life had been poured out there. And I remembered the prophet Isaiah who said, all we like sheep have gone astray. We've turned everyone into his own way. And the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. Isaiah said, he was despised and rejected, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And he said, he went like a lamb to the slaughter, and like a sheep before his shearers, he is dumb. And then he said, by his stripes, we are healed. So we fix the meal of bread and lamb and bitter herbs and salt water and a paste made of apples and dates and nuts and raisins and wine. 